Hi, my name is Yana. Today I'm going to show you guys how to crochet this cute summer top. This is how the front looks like and this is how the back looks like. It's really cute and I love it. It's perfect for summer. It's a strapless top with a tie back in the back and it was super easy to make. It's super beginner friendly if you want to make it and this is your first time. You only need to use single crochets and the chain stitch in this one so incredibly easy. Let's just jump into the tutorial. So for this project we are going to be using two different colors of yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook and obviously some scissors coincidentally everything is purple the scissors are purple the hook is purple the yarn i'm using is purple and my nails are kind of purple that's kind of funny i don't know it wasn't planned to start we're going to grab one of our purple colors or any color and then we are going to be chaining our stomach length but only half of it and the best way to measure it is grabbing one of your tops and measuring half of it since we want it to reach the halfway point and have this like open back and we're also going to add on a side on the end so just chain half of your stomach till your arms you know i'm just going to chain a shorter amount because i already have a panel started so obviously don't want to redo the whole thing All right, so after you've chained your stomach length, we are going to turn the chain around and we're going to be crocheting single crochets into the middle bump. Instead of working into the chain like this, we are going to work into that single bump right here. So we're going to place a single crochet in there and then in this middle bump. So usually if you make a chain you're going to crochet into the top one but we're going to turn it around and right into this middle bump we're going to pop our hook and place a single crochet and the reason that we're doing it is first of all it looks way better since if you're working into the middle bump you'll see this like crochet like top look you know if you turn it around you can't really tell the difference which is top and which is bottom so it looks way nicer and second of all it is way more stretchier since if you crochet into the top part maybe it's just my experience but i definitely do think that crocheting into the middle bump makes the the yarn stretchier or the project stretchier so we're just gonna make a bunch of single crochets into the middle bump and then we are going to finish up this row and once we reach the end we're still gonna go into the middle bump obviously and then make a single crochet oh no we are going to turn our work so that the string our working string is on the back so not we're not gonna turn like this but we're going to turn like this so that the working tail is behind our hook. Because we're not going to be starting each row with a chain, we are going to be starting each row with just placing a single crochet right here. So into the stitch that we are already in. Since chaining and skipping a stitch will make the, make the piece look like missing a stitch, you know, since you're skipping one. So I personally just like it way more and it doesn't change anything. So I really recommend doing those two things. And now we're going to be crocheting five rows of that first color. Then once you're done with making 10 rows of that first color, you should be basically at around this point. Obviously I've changed into the other color. Now we're gonna be making 10 rows of that one color. Then we're gonna be switching colors to our second color and make 10 rows with that second color. And to actually change colors, I'm just gonna show you right now, even though I'm a bit further, cause I didn't record. So we're just gonna, you know, work single crochets as usual. Since this is the 10th row of the dark purple, we want to switch colors. So we are going to go into the last stitch, pull up, and do half a single crochet. And now I'm just gonna grab my second color and then I'm gonna use my second color and pull through that two loops. And since I'm already at my second color chain, you can see that I did not cut my color and that is because I just do not want to. Now I've pulled up with my second color, so this is safe. So you can't really open this without opening this. So we've made a really clean color change. Now we're going to turn our work, obviously, once again. Then we are going to be working one single crochet in the stitch that we're in. 
pull the yarn a bit and make sure that if you're doing your second color chain that the string does not snag so way rather have it too loose than tight we are going to insert our hook into the same stitch and then make a single crochet make sure that the string is not snagging or anything and then we are just going to work single crochets as usual for 10 more rows and reached your desired length i have made the panel and i am done so i'm happy with the length that i've reached so i'm going to keep it this way and the length that i've reached 10 rows for each color so in total 40 rows and i changed the colors here once again i just repeated the same thing and it looks really clean so i'm obviously going to have this on the inside so that you can't see it because now we're going to do the side parts so that they kind of go into the back you know like the thumbnail shows so we are going to continue working right here so to do the side part we're going to chain two and we're going to work on the side of this piece so that means we're going to act as if every row is a single crochet and then we're going to work into this row we are not going to work into the single crochet that we just did obviously but into the row below and then we're just going to continue making single crochets into every single row um and you can tell the rows by the gap that's just there you know it's gonna be just gonna go into every single crochet but like vertically i think is the right word so that it looks like this and for this part it depends how long you want it to be i would just go to your body to like measure it once i reach a color change i'm going to change my color i'll show you how it works all right so at the last stitch which is this one right here so I'm gonna enter it, I'm gonna pull up, and then I'm going to turn my yarn so that's on the back side. Then I'm gonna grab the second color and pull through like this, and then I'm just gonna, you know, go into the next stitch as normal. And then we once again did a pretty seamless color change right at the point at the middle. Make a single crochet, and then honestly, the length of my back thingy is probably gonna be a half, so 20 single crochets should be done. And since I did, you know, 10 rows, you should have 10 single crochets here, so let me actually count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Since I didn't do the first one, so that's like correct if you have uh, nine as well. And if you did like the same amount, I definitely am gonna try it on first, you know, even stopping at the middle is totally fine. Um, if that's necessary. So I'll just lay it on my body and look into the mirror and see if I'm comfortable with this length. And then, Yeah, so I just laid it on my body and I'm definitely comfortable with that length. It, it looks really nice and I, I'm going to work till the end of this row. So I'm going to have 20 single crochets and then at the last one right here. No, that's not the last one, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, it isn't. Okay, so obviously for this part, you really just want to count. You know, you can't really tell by just, you know, just not counting, I guess. And once again, we are not going to be using chains to start a row because it just is unnecessary in my opinion. Obviously, if you want to, go ahead. But I do not like the look of chaining a row to start. And honestly, as you can see, I'm really low on this yarn color so i really hope it is enough if it isn't i am genuinely like i don't know what to do and at the end of the row we are going to be working one single crochet into that chain two space so we're just gonna pop our hook in there and make one uh, single crochet so that we have 20 in total and then i'm gonna turn my work and then do it again all right so now i'm done with making the border honestly it would make it longer i'm i just i just don't have enough yarn honestly like i will cut it off now and i will pray that it is enough if it's not then i guess i'll just i don't know honestly i no way i literally had enough yarn and even some spare what that is like luck that is straight up luck all right so now you're making the same amount of rows on the other side i'm just since the yarn is so small i'll just pull through instead of like cutting i'll cut it later obviously and then the other side we're also gonna cut off and now we're basically done so we have and now we're gonna move on to the actual straps all right so now i just made a chain to be the strap and i was thinking you know usually i do a, a single crochet or even half double crochet like strap because i use like really thin yarn most of the time for clothes but for this top i use like really thick one well thicker obviously since as you can see the difference in like weight is 
is really big for the yarn that I usually use and this one. So I don't think I'm actually going to do a single crochet or even a half double crochet strap for this one. Although if you want to, I would definitely recommend it if you're using like thin yarn. I would recommend it because it looks better. For this yarn, I don't want it to be too thick, you know. It's still supposed to be like a, like a summer top, you know, summer and free and whatever. And the way, honestly, the way to weave it in is we're just going to go through the top part here. And we're just gonna go through like every row we're just gonna stab our hook through and then do it and i'm gonna go like here maybe and then all right so this is one version to like do it in obviously you can wear it with this on top and this on the bottom but like it's kind of irrelevant i'm just gonna do it like this so that i can tie the bow here and obviously the sides aren't exactly measured the same way but i'm just gonna try this on to see if it even like fits so this is the end of the video if you made it here thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video if you did please make sure to leave a like and subscribe go check out my other crochet tops tutorials while you're at it i hope this tutorial helped you if you have any questions comment them down below. I'll make sure to respond to them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!